What's up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel I've installed a Mi Mi 11 NSA ROM on my Redmi Note 8 which is based on 20.3.26 beta and I'm going to review this Mi Mi 11 NSA ROM this one is also used this can be also used as a GSI so I'll drop a link for the GSI if you want this on your device because this build is only available for Redmi Note 5 Pro but we have a great news that we can use GSI on our devices if we want this version so I'll give you the link very soon for the GSI until then you can watch this review and you can decide if you want to flash this or not there are a lot of features available in this build so which are those features make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started now okay so here it is we have installed this mi 11 nsa build yes this is the time of mi 12 but this mi 11 build is just super duper great you got a lot of features present in this build a lot of new features and this what this room can be compared with the mi y pro if you have ever used mi y pro you can understand that there are a lot of features available in mi y pro first of all we will get into the theme store let me show you whichever themes you get here you get all english themes available and you can download any theme from here you can install any theme download for free and use it as if you want to i have personally using some i am personally using this theme from some time which is color os 7 v11 if you also want this theme you can simply search on theme store you can download from there and click on apply and start apply this theme i personally liked a lot and it's working perfectly you can see your quick settings look like color os you also get the wallpaper from color os and also the icons are also from color os which looks pretty much impressive also get the app drawer option as expected also in home screen settings get a lot of new options lot of new features so i'll show you all those features first of all let's move on to lock screen you get all normal features like sleep and double tap to wake or turn off and power menu access smart cover mode etc when you go to display settings you have some options of enabling the dark mode which you can enable from here and also you can schedule the dark mode if you want to Let's move on further. You also have the option of choosing the system fonts. As you can see, I am already using Peace named system font, and which looks pretty much impressive. So you can download any font from the theme store and download and apply free. That's another very cool thing. You can also use the third-party themes if you want to. In status bar, you have the option of choosing the status bar style. Whichever status bar style you like, you can choose that one. You can choose the default one. You can choose the iOS style. You can choose the AOSP style. So this is another very good thing. You also have the option of choosing the text size of clock percent and network speed. Whichever you can, whichever you like, you can choose that one. In status bar, you have the option of choosing the toggles in minimize shade, toggles in expanded shade, and number of rows and switches, brightness panel. which i am already using and i have customized everything and it looks just great a lot of things are available here let's move on further check out some other things first of all let me show you here you also got the option of list animations here you have some extra animation options like wave like wave left wave right alpha scale stack top stack bottom and unfold these all options you get only in the miui pro room but in this build you also get these options so that's a positive thing in sound and vibration this theme this time its settings has stopped so this one has i think some bugs but you can just skip this because we don't need it we can increase volume or decrease anything from here you can easily do whatever you want to this one is also available in the form of gsi so if you use this gsi on your device the bugs could be here and there but just if you want some new things on your device in mi ui then go for it in home screen you have the option of regular and with app drawer whichever you like you can choose that one like minus one screen is option is also available app word or google discover whichever you like you can choose that one here you have some new options like blur app previews folder blur background show blur effect at recent apps automatic closing of folders 
Signature icons and number of columns in folders show suggestions. A lot of new features here and there, so just go and check it out. In password and security, you get the face lock option, you get the fingerprint option, and everything is perfectly working in Redmi Note 5 Pro as a ROM. Date and time, languages and input, and all other things are expected and perfectly working. In developer options, I didn't got any extra features. Some new options are, are there and are working perfectly in special features. You have the option of game turbo, video toolbox, quick reply, second space, menu lab, and light mode. And also, if you talk about custom visor, this one is exposed module which I am using on my device. And this video is already available on my second channel. Make sure to check that video if you want to. So this was all from all the settings. Everything is perfectly working and the performance of this room is perfect. Also get nice battery backup and a lot more things. Everything is just great. So just go and try out this build right now. This was all from today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.